starts back in 1783. There were two brothers, the McGoffey brothers, and they're working in their parents' paper factory in Annonay, France. And they noticed bits of paper floating up to the ceiling and the smoke from the fire. They thought if they could capture that smoke, they could fly. So they stitched and glued their first balloon bag together out of paper and silk. They took it over to the fire. They filled it up with smoke because that's where they thought they were getting the lift from. They filled it up with smoke and they let it go and it flew across the French countryside. So they knew they were onto something. So they built a wicker basket, much like you flew in today. They really haven't changed a lot over the years. But they were afraid they wouldn't be able to breathe above the ground. So the first flight was done by animals a duck, a sheep, and a rooster. They put the duck, the sheep, the rooster into the wicker basket. They took the bag over, they filled it up with smoke, they connected it to the basket, they let it go, and the animals flew across the French countryside. But they had a problem. They didn't have chase crews like we do today. And everybody knows that back in those days, the only thing flying were birds and dragons. So the peasants are out working in the field and they see this thing coming out of the sky, belching black smoke, making animal noises. Well, they think it's a fire-breathing drag. So when it lands, they pitchfork the balloon to death. The animals were okay. Well, they still weren't real sure they could breathe above the ground. So they, they were kind of leery about going. So they decided to go down to the local prison and get two prisoners that were gonna get guillotined the next day anyway and send them up in the balloon. That way, if something happened, it was no big deal. Well, the King of France heard about it and said, absolutely not, the first man flight has to be a French noble. So the guy to make the first flight, his name was Pilot de Rossier. That's where we get the name Pilot from today, is from Pilot. Pilot decides he wants to stay in the, the air longer, so he puts a black cauldron in the basket and he's just gonna stoke the fire while he's in flight so he can stay in the air longer. Well, embers from the fire were going up and catching his balloon on fire. So he took a long stick with a wet rag with him, and as he flew, he had to keep putting the fire out to stay in the air. You guys didn't have to do that today. Pilot has a beautiful flight across the French countryside. He comes in for a landing. His balloon's belching black smoke. The peasants are working in the field. They think it's a fire-breathing dragon. They pitchfork his balloon to them. So they got to get this figured out. So what they did was they took a bottle of champagne, and they put the king's label on it. And as they would come in for a landing, they would dangle the champagne down to the peasants below to show they were noblemen. And when they landed, they would open the champagne up and share it with all their new friends and toast being on the ground safe again. So to this day, when you see a balloon land, chances are he's got champagne with him to open it up and share it with all his new friends and toast being on the ground safe again.